What's up guys, this is Mike the Detroit Borg with a look at the Dexum Visible Green Cable. Now this is a lighted cable that's designed to work with all iOS devices, well not just iOS but iPods, iOS devices like iPads and iPhones. And basically it's just a syncing and charging cable that indicates the charging status through this lighted cable. Now this is pretty interesting because instead of having to take a look at your device to see if it's charged or not, you'll be able to check it out thanks to the lighting in the cable. So it lights up when it's charging, in fact there's a little uh, animation or a little sort of pattern to the cable while it's charging. We'll take a look at that once we get it plugged in. Uh, and then once it's done, it just turns off and so you know your device is fully charged. Now it's available in two colors, black or white. It's also available in two different uh, lighting colors. So on the black cable, you get blue or purple. On white, you get blue or green. So I have the white cable with the blue lighting. And we're going to take a look around. Now, it's important to note that this is not an LED technology. This is electroluminescence. That's actually a technology used in car interior lighting. Now taking a close look at the cable, you can see we have this very large USB housing which powers that electroluminescent lighting in the cable. So of course it needs to be larger. Now if you look at a standard Apple cable, you can see it is almost three times or four times as big as the Apple cable. Same story with the dock connector. It's also not as low profile as Apple's cable. Now they also threw in this Dexum branded wire tie, which I don't believe is permanent. In fact, I can think I can peel this right off. There you go. So you can keep that on or take it off. Now the other difference between this and the Apple cable is the fact that the Dexum cable is shorter. So if, uh, if we match it end to end, you can see that the Dexum cable is maybe six inches shorter than the Apple cable. So in the literature, we actually have a bit of information which is useful here. So we can see that the pattern of the light strobing along the cable is indicative of its charging status as well, since it's not just whether it's on or off. So if you can see that the pattern is moving fast, you can see that we have uh, about 65% battery life or less. Slow means we're almost charged, so about 65 to 99%, and it shuts off once we're at 100%. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and connect it to my MacBook Air to take a look to see how this cable looks. Now you can see it is illuminated, has this nice strobing pattern that begins from the tip of the dock connector all the way to the base of the USB housing. And you can see it's strobing. Even though it's not connected to anything right now, this will stop. Eventually this will power off once it determines that nothing is actually connected. Uh, but as soon as you connect the device like an iPhone here, you can see that the strobing pattern will change. It speeds up as it reads the device uh, first to determine its charge status, you can see it's almost fully charged here. So once it's determined the charge status, it will slow down to indicate that it's almost fully charged. So you can see it's adjusted. Now if this device was low, it would be it would have that same high speed uh, strobing you saw when I initially connected it. So once it's done charging, it turns solid and then it powers off. Now, of course, you can see this also works with the iPad. So you can see even though this iPad is at 94% charge, you do have this high speed strobing effect, which indicates that the battery is lower than 65%. So I think this behaves a little differently with the iPad than it does the iPhone. So keep that in mind. Now something I've also discovered here is that the iPod Nanos do not display the lighting effect when charging. So for example, I have a partially charged Nano here and it's charging right now on my MacBook Air, but it's not drawing enough current to activate the, um, the lighting effect in the cable. So when you're charging Nanos, you will not see this effect, but everything else does seem to display the lighting effect. So that includes iPod Classics, even the old iPod Classics like the fifth generation, uh, the uh, iPod Touch, iPhone and iPad all work fine, but when it comes to Nanos, you do get charging and syncing, but you don't get the lighting effect. So in conclusion, I definitely think it's worth the $20 just to have a cable that tells you the charging status of your iDevice. Certainly this is better than having to turn on the screen every time to find out if your phone or your iPad is fully charged. Definitely something I can recommend, especially at $20 on Amazon. I'll post a link in the description below so you can pick one up for yourself. Uh, but at $20, which is the equivalent cost of the Apple cable, I think it's definitely something to take a look at. The only drawback here is, of course, that large USB housing and the fact that it is shorter than Apple's cable, which might be an advantage to some people who don't want a long cable. So that's going to do for me, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video.